Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing is taking this PDF file that you see right here, the Learjet 31. I'm going to be taking this overhead view and I'm going to place it onto a surface in Fusion. And we'll bring it through Inkscape and change it into an SVG file. And then go into Fusion and we can import it and we should have minimal errors to correct so that we can uh, extrude that um, or cut it and give us some lines to have the engraving uh, program, the cam side, have something to follow. So into this we will start off with the main key to check. If you're having troubles with this make a bitmap copy, go into preferences, go into bitmaps. This is the default setting, 96 dpi. It is not a very detailed image and when you try to do that trace it really mucks it up. So I'm going to uh, show you what it looks like at you know at 96 and you it's not usable. So for me I had to use 1200 but uh, I'll change this later but if you're having troubles with the trace change this to a higher higher dots per inch. For me 1200 does a real good job as far as uh, minimizing double lines and everything else. It, uh, it just makes it really nice and sharp. So that'll be the main key on this. But we'll go ahead and continue on the process of uh, bringing that all the way into a Fusion and editable version in Fusion. So first bring in your file. I leave all these settings the same. The file comes in. Now there's a lot of stuff here that I don't need to trace because I only want this portion of the PDF file. Initially what you can do is select everything and then you're going to just go through and ungroup everything so that you can delete the stuff. Down here at the bottom you'll see that that number will keep changing and we want to go until it shows that there are no more groups. So no groups. Now I can delete stuff and it's not going to take four of these different things away. I just will highlight something and delete it. So let's highlight that. Get it out of there. Same thing with this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. and We'll get rid of some text boxes and a couple of these lines. Now when I look at this in a little bit different set, if we go over to this where it wants to edit the paths by nodes and stuff, you can see how as I go across this object, it goes to different sections. It's not all, this isn't one drawing, this isn't a second drawing, and this is a third. They're all interlinked with different little this is and that. So now what I want to do is get all of those paths all at once. So I'm going to leave it on the nodes. Select everything. Now that is highlighted, as I'll just say, all the stuff. And now I want to reselect only the stuff I want to get rid of, which is all of this up here. And you'll see it changes them to a different color. We hit delete, and it's gone. Now I'm left with what I really want. So I'm going to go back to this selector view. I'm going to select all of it, object, I want to group those into one. So that's got our PDF file, which has really sharp detail. If you zoom in on certain sections, you can see that everything is really nice. Now if I go to the node part, you'll see that the lines that they have for all of this are down the centers. It doesn't work to trace a one line if it's not enclosed. So I'm going to make it so that I have a line on the outside of those black boxes and no line in the center. So I don't have to delete all that stuff. Now the process I said was to take this, I'm going to get back into my selector, take that whole drawing and we said we wanted to do make a bitmap copy. So I'll do that. So now I got my bitmap copy. Again if I zoom in Everything's really sharp on this. That's my original. Here is just slightly zoomed in. You can see how all these lines are messed up. They're not sharp. They're blurry. 
and that's when we try to do a trace on this. So I'll do a path, trace the bitmap. I use edge detection, and I know that I use a 001 for me when I'm using that 1200 DPI. I'm going to try it again on this. I can look at the live preview, and you can kind of see how it's it's different. There's a bunch of stuff, but let's go ahead and show you the bad one. So that's done that. I'm going to get this minimized. I'm going to bring the bitmap down. I'll bring it over here. And I'm going to zoom in. So you can see how these lines, they're blurred, and it makes it blurred on this. So that really doesn't work as far as trying to make an SVG of this file for it to copy. So we got to correct that problem. So I am going to delete this. I'm going to delete this bad uh, oh, bitmap copy. And now I'm going to come up here. I like that. Before we do though, I'm going to change my preferences. Again, bitmaps. These two numbers are the ones I've been changing to make it work. I tried a thousand DPI and it, I ended up getting a lot of double lines because there's a slight blur and it might have been the trace setting but I found that 1200 just makes everything really nice and sharp. It's selected. I make my bitmap copy. This takes a little bit of time and now we've got something that I can select and move. Hopefully this doesn't bonk out on me there. So now when we zoom in on this, we can see that it's a lot crisper around the edges and stuff. You have to get in quite a ways before it blurs out. So that's a good bitmap to do a trace on. So now what I can do is it's already selected. I want to do a path, trace the bitmap, edge detection. Like I said, I use that 1000 and let's do OK. So this takes a little bit of time. And now it's done. I'll close this. And I'm going to move this part of it over to the side. And again, if we zoom in, we got our good detail on our bitmap. And now when I look at this, I've got good detail on my SGV file. Everything's looking really nice. I'm going to go into the node mode, and if I zoom in close on this, you'll see that now I have boundaries on the outsides of that black line. Instead of having all the lines down the center, which means I'll have a lot easier time just selecting maybe the inside of this black line and saying add or direct, you know, add or subtract, and that'll give me the edges that I need to use for my trace. So that is my good file here. I'm going to go out of this. Move this onto my page. I'm going to get rid of these two, hopefully without causing any errors. I'm going to delete that. Select that, which was my PDF conversion. So now I have this file, and we'll go through and say File. I want to save. I'm going to call it Jet and put it to my desktop and save it there as the Inkscape SVG. There's a whole bunch of options but so far Inkscape SGV works fine. So now it's saved it, it's on my desktop. There will be two more videos. The first one will be uh, taking and building the shape with Fusion 360 importing the SVG we just created and then the next video after that will be a uh, taking it into SprutCam and actually doing the um, actual engraving process.